Hi kids, it's me, c'est moi, Monsieur Antoine, Mr. Tony, and it's time again for some video art. And this week, uh, our country has been France. So we've been doing all things French and learning about artists uh, from France. Uh, we began with the French flag. Here's the French flag we worked on. John Sell, I saw your flag. I got your flag, a picture of your flag, and I put it on the website. Nice work, okay? So we learned about the French flag, and I did it in that kind of fuzzy impressionist style, right? And then we actually did a picture of water lilies down here. And here's the one I worked on. And that was inspired by Claude Monet, who's the great French impressionist painter. Okay, so we learned about him, Claude Monet, and then last time, yesterday, excuse me, nose itches, allergies, uh, we made this. Okay, and this is the hardest lesson we've done this week. I think this is the, this Eiffel Tower is the hardest lesson of all, drawing lesson. And I didn't really expect you to do it, I, but I wanted you to learn about the Eiffel Tower, that great uh, tower over in France that was made for the World's Fair. Okay, and if you were able to just do a tall pointy thing with a bunch of lines, that would be great. That's enough. I did a lot of detail just to show you how it could be done, but I didn't expect you to do it. And I hope you watched anyway. Okay, so that was the Eiffel Tower. Today, we are going back to the artists of France. France. Oh, itchy nose. The artists of France. And you'll notice I've added some things to my picture here, the introduction. Simple shapes, simple solid shapes. Okay, this was all fuzzy down here. This was Claude Monet's art, Impressionism. But here, I don't have any of that fuzzy stuff, any of that texture. It's just solid shapes. And up here, you can see I put a sun. And then down here, these wavy lines are like water. Then over here, these squiggly things are kind of like seaweed in the water, in the sea. Then I added a couple of very simple people, just a dot for a head and these wiggly arms and wiggly legs. Someone sitting up here on top of the T. Okay, and that was inspired by another French artist, Henri Matisse. Actually, it's pronounced Henri Matisse. In French and he came just after Monet. Monet was painting like this, Impressionism. We looked at some pictures, right? Like this one. I think I may have shown you this one. I don't know, but this is done by uh, uh, Claude Monet. Okay, and it's kind of like a, a real picture except it's done with dabs of color, rough dabs of color. Henri Han Matisse decided to do things a little differently. And here's a painting of his, an early painting. And it's of a woman in a room. And it's not fuzzy colors, it's not impressionism, but it's not very realistic either. If you look at it, there's all these interesting swirly shapes. And look at the trees out there. They just look like puffy blobs of white. And everything's kind of simple and colorful. That's what Matisse wanted to do, something simple, colorful, and very playful. He started out with paints, and then later on, he actually was making artwork that looked like this. Okay, and these were called cutouts, and he actually cut out paper, but they're all solid shapes. Okay, it was no fuzzy stuff. It was simple, solid shapes, colorful shapes. These look like plants to me. I'm not sure exactly what they are. I think this is a bird over here, and this looks like a person kind of leaping, but it's not at all like a photograph. It's more like a design, just simple shapes. Okay, and that's uh, Henri Matisse. Okay, and he came after Monet. Uh, he was actually called Post-Impressionism or a post-impressionist. That means he came after impressionism, just after, okay? So that's what we're doing today. And 
in my introduction, that's what I did. Something that's like a, a Matisse picture. Simple shapes, simple solid shapes. Now he actually cut out paper and then put it together. I uh, am thinking you probably won't have construction paper at home. Well, maybe you do. But I thought uh, to make a simple solid shape, I would use marker, okay? Uh, so if you have marker, you can do it just like this, simple solid shapes. You can do the uh, lesson, follow along with me uh, using marker, or you can use crayon. But if you use crayon, you're gonna get a bit of texture. It's unavoidable. You can try to be very smooth though. But what I'm trying to do here with this lesson is do artwork that's like Henri Matisse. It's hard for me to say Henri. I keep wanting to say Henry. Henry is the American way of saying Henri, but in France, they pronounce Henry Henri. Okay, so Henri Matisse. Paper and markers first. Uh, we're gonna do a little uh, ocean scene and we're gonna begin with a sun. Okay, and that's pretty simple. I'm gonna put it up here. And first I'll make my shape and then I'm gonna color it in. I'll take my time. Get it all filled in, okay? I want it to look pretty solid. Solid shape, just like that. Solid yellow circle, or kind of like a circle. <clears throat> this doesn't have to be perfect. It's gotta be playful, like Henri Matisse's art. And look at that ray, it's just a squiggly line. Usually sun rays are just straight lines. I'm gonna make them a little playful. I'm gonna make it a little wiggly like that. I'll do another one over here. Maybe a little smaller. Then maybe another one over here. One up there. They're all kind of pointing away from the center. Okay, which makes them look like rays, but then they wiggle a bit. Okay, that looks like a sun to me. So if you got something like that, you're all set. Okay, that was the first step. Next step. Oh, where's my, where's my crayon? Marker, my blue marker. Hold on, there it is. I thought I had them all out right here. Mr. Tony, you're not prepared again. Okay, blue marker. Let me move this light down. I don't know if it seems dark today for some reason. Okay, the water. Okay, you'll notice on here, I just made some wavy lines going side to side. And that's what I'm gonna do in my picture here. like that and then maybe another one like this and I'm leaving a bit of room down here because I want to add a little bit of uh, seaweed again I'm gonna fill it in and make it look nice and solid okay it's gonna be a very simple picture certainly much easier than the Eiffel Tower but you'll have to take a little bit of time and make your shapes nice and solid to make it look like a Matisse. Okay, couple lines, couple of wavy blue lines for the water. Now I'm gonna add some of that seaweed. And let's look at this again. This is where I get the idea for the seaweed from. Seaweed from. Look at all those shapes. They look kind of like seaweed, kind of like uh, ocean plants to me anyway. Let me move it in. There, see, see the green ones? Those squiggly green shapes, they look kind of like seaweed to me. So that's what I'm gonna do down here. I 
let's see. I'll start with the dot and then I'll just make one little line, wiggly shape and then another one, and another one, another one, and this way, another one, another one, another one, there. To make it look like seaweed, you really have to make the shape kind of wiggly. I don't know if you kids have ever watched SpongeBob, but he he lives in the uh, the sea, in uh, at Bikini Bottom, and the uh, plants all are floating all around look kind of like that. So that's the look you're going for. In a wiggly shape like that. Maybe the artist who designed it was thinking about Henry Henri Matisse when he drew those plants for the Spon SpongeBob show. I'm going to fill it in. I have to really slow down for this one because because my shape is smaller. I'm gonna get all the little white spots. And like I said, this is pretty simple. So it won't take a lot of time to do the shapes I'm doing here, but you, you should make sure you fill them in nicely and make them look solid like cutouts. Okay. Uh, let's add a little more water. Another wavy line. Like that. And again, I'm very carefully filling inside the shape. If I wanted it to look like an impressionist picture, then I would have all sorts of scribbly lines and, and fuzzy shapes, but I want to make it look like a post-impressionistic picture, a uh, Henri Matisse picture, a cutout picture, even though we're not cutting out paper here, we're using markers. And if you don't have markers, use your crayons and just do your best to make them kind of neat and solid like that. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. That's the basic picture. And I would say that's enough. But if you want to go a little further, we can put something floating on the water here. And I was thinking we could make a, a little sailboat, perhaps. So that's what I'm going to do. A little sailboat. Now usually sailboats are white or kind of white but we can't do white because we got white paper so let's make the sailboat purple. I'm gonna I'm just gonna make a little one right here. Just a little curved shape like that. it a little bit. Ah, that's pretty good. And then for the sail, sails are usually white too. But we can't do a white sail because we have a white background. We could do, use gray. Let's see if I have gray. No gray there. Hold on. I think I have gray somewhere. There's a gray. There. Gray for the sail. And what shape is a sail? Well, it's a triangle shape, but we want to make it a little curvy like everything else in this drawing. So I'm going to make a triangle that's got a little bit of a curve to it. Sails 
usually are curved anyway because they're being puffed out by the wind. So that actually looks kind of like a real sail. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna put a person in the boat. I'm, I'm gonna keep it very simple, like this guy here. Simple head and then simple wiggly arms. Maybe I'll just do a head right here, like that, a little oval. I'm using brown for that. You can use whatever color you want, really, but I'm using brown. I'm going to have one arm up like this, then the other arm down like that. And I'm going to, ooh, that arm looks kind of big. <laughs> I, I better make his head a little bigger. I made his arm so big. Okay. And I'm going to put something in his hand. Last step. Let's see. I need, I need some red. Put a little red here. And a little blue over here. I'm leaving white in the middle. Let's see if that worked. I don't know if that worked too good. Need a little more blue. Okay, what am I making there? It's red, white, and blue. It's a French flag, okay? It's a little man in a sailboat or a woman holding up the French flag. And the whole picture is done in the style of Henri Matisse, the great post-impressionist French artist. Uh, one of the artists we learned about this week, along with uh, Monet, Claude Monet, the impressionist artist. And we did a couple other things. We learned about the Eiffel Tower and... Uh, the French flag, of course, and that's it. That's it for our week of France, all things French. Okay, and that actually is it for me for the summer session because I'm only working in July. I'm only doing, uh, doing teaching during the month of July and next week is August. So that's it for me and the summer session lessons, but I'm gonna try to check in. I'm gonna be doing my own artwork, so I'll upload a thing or two of uh, whatever I'm working on uh, just to check in with you guys and make sure you're still uh, having a good time. And I'll try to add to it, hopefully. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. A little Matisse, a little ocean scene with a sailboat and a happy sun for the summer, okay? So you guys enjoy your summer, but I will be checking in with you, okay? Mr. Tony, Monsieur Antoine, signing off. See you next time. Bye-bye.